for who intentionally set them on fire and why. And a sick and stranded sea lions. It's become a summer crisis along the Southern California coast. There's a call out for help, how you can do your part to save these animals. This is Today in LA at 6. Good morning, everyone, and hello. <laughs> hello, gorgeous. How about that? Right? Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful this morning. TGIF, I'm Robin Winston <laughs> filling in for Adrian, And I'm Lynette Romero. We are so glad you joined us this morning. So stop what you're doing and look at this yes. beautiful yes. sunrise. Behold. It's going to be a great day. Yeah. Like, you, you can't go wrong with that, right? It looks fake. I know. It, it does. does. Yeah, right? I know, right? I feel like there should be an opera singer or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Like a photo, I don't know, Photoshop. But this is the real deal, guys. It is. It's the real Malibu. deal. Yeah. Beautiful. How about it? Pretty. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, if the sun is rising, temperatures are, are nice and comfortable, especially as we take you into this afternoon. So that's going to be pretty nice. You know, we we're talking about uh, the, the temperatures heating up next week. Enjoy this weekend. This is really going to be the weekend. Some spots slightly below average right near normal in some areas. Temperatures currently we are at 67 in Lancaster, 55 in Santa Clarita, 59 in Ontario and down into Riverside, 56 in San Bernardino and 37, a cool 37 in Big Bear at this time over in Temecula, 54 degrees. Let's check out looking ahead uh, for the valley. So this morning temperatures are in the upper 50s. We're dealing with a little bit of cloud coverage, some patchy fog here and there. Just around lunchtime, uh, we'll see the skies clear. As a matter of fact, we will see it a couple of hours before that. Temperatures will be at 78 around that time frame for the afternoon. Later on the afternoon, temperatures will be at 83 in the low 70s this evening. The sun sets at 809. We'll have another update coming up in just a few minutes. But for right now, let's check out what's happening there with traffic with Holly. All right. Good Friday morning, everyone. And we're still dealing with Friday light conditions in most areas. We do have a traffic alert in the Castaic area on the South Five near Lake Hughes Road. There was a car fire. It's taking up the right lane, but surprisingly no delays if you're heading towards Santa Clarita. The estimated time of clearing is 615, so this should be a short lived uh, traffic alert. If all of a sudden I start to see delays, I will bring you back there and give you an update in downtown Los Angeles. It's that time of morning where uh, more folks are heading on the roads and we're seeing it, especially on the north five from East LA into downtown LA, the north 101 approaching the 110 and the north 110 from South LA into downtown LA is getting busier as well. West 10 five to the 405 drive will take about 20 minutes right now. Speeds in the 40s. Uh, it's getting slow through downtown LA and busier through mid city. Here's a live view of the 60 passing Hacienda Boulevard and Hacienda Heights. Those headlights traveling east towards the 57 and Diamond Bar. Coming up, I'll take you to Long Beach. We'll check out the North 405. Robin Lynette, over to you. All right, Holly, thank you for that. And a developing story now from Lake Forest, where two people have been killed in a crash. NBC Forest John Caddy's Klimak is live at the intersection where it happened. And this intersection just opened back up a short time ago. John? Yeah, I wanted to show you behind us because they've got the road flares there that have all burned out because they were here all night last night as part of this investigation. We arrived uh, just after 3 o'clock this morning. The vehicles were still here. The victims were, their bodies were still here. But I want to take you to the video from overnight. It was around 10 o'clock when this happened. Uh, this intersection, specifically Bake Parkway, and uh, Common Center Drive. This is a, an industrial area, a lot of businesses around here, warehouses, uh, but the streets are wide open. They're, they're, they're four lane roads. Uh, there's not a lot of lights between intersections. Uh, so there is a possibility that speed could have been a, a factor in all of this. That's all part of the investigation. The Orange County Sheriff's Department is investigating that aspect of it. But two people were killed in this crash. One person was taken to the hospital. We spoke with somebody from the Orange County Fire Authority. They were called out because initially there was concern that there was a fire uh, as a result of the crash. That did not turn out to be the case. But they talked to us a little bit about what it was like when they first got on scene. So while we were able to transport that one patient as a trauma patient to the hospital with our firefighter paramedics and provide that care, it's always heartbreaking to pronounce uh, individuals deceased on scene. 
Yeah, the coroner's office was out here early this morning. They removed those two bodies. We understand that all three people involved uh, were adults. The two that passed away were in the same vehicle, and then the one person uh, who was taken to the hospital was, was just by themselves in that vehicle. But again, uh, three people involved in this and still undetermined as to what caused the crash, whether it was something that led up to it, if speed was a factor, if somebody ran a red light, if there was alcohol involved.